Uh, calculating the number of terms in the series. Moving on. So we said we have our A. Our A is five. Our TN is minus. Our TN is minus eighty-seven. And then we got TN, which is going to be given as minus 87. And then we have TN, which is going to be given as A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. And then at the same time, we can then come and say, okay, but now this one subtract this one, it gives us minus 4, which is going to be equaling to 5 plus N minus 1 multiplied by minus 4. We have 5 minus 4 N plus 4 meaning which we can say which we have minus 4n plus 9. And then we can simply put which tn is equal to. So we have minus 87, which is going to be minus 4n plus 9. Take this one to this other side. What do you get? Minus 96, which is going to be minus 4n divided by minus 4 divided by minus 4. And then we get what? 24. N is going to be equal to our term 24. So there are 24 terms in this series. Now, this one is the one which was interesting. This one was interesting. It's exactly uh, more or less the same series, huh? if you look at it, because we still have five, and then we still have. But now, instead of ending here, who minus 87, we're going to end where? On minus one. Yeah. So our last term has changed, man. Our last term is going to become TN is equal to minus uh minus four one eight seven and then this is what you should expect these are typical examination mm -hmm. questions they say determine the number of terms in the sequence that will be divisible by five we don't want all of them we don't want all of them we want the ones only that are divisible by five you you, you got what i'm saying i don't want all of them i want only the ones which are what which are divisible by five now, what is divisible? Maybe the question that you should ask, what is divisible? When we, yeah, uh, it's entering. When you, it doesn't leave a remainder. Yeah, when you divide, it doesn't leave any remainder. Remainder. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we are going to write the sequence which has all multiples of five. Makes sense for us to do that. So what is our first term? And then the other thing that they can also say, Jane, is this one. They can say which the number of terms that only have negative numbers. I think we have the positive and negative. No? So they can say how many terms are only negative. We want only the negative terms. Here they want the ones which are divisible by five. So the first one that we have is five. Five is divisible by five. Right? I'm not going to count one. One is not divisible by five. I'm not going to count minus three. It's not divisible by five. What is the next one that can fold? Minus seven, again. not divisible by five. Minus, minus 11, not divisible by five. Huh? Yeah, we, we are coming from here. It's, we, we can always check it if we are not sure. Yeah, okay. So what is the next one? Minus 15. Yeah, I'm going to take minus 15 and put it here. This is for, for, the, for the ones which are divisible by five, the first term is five. The second term, it's five, minus 15. And then I'm going to go to the end. On the end, this is not going to be my last term of the ones which are divisible by five. It's the last term of the sequence, but it's not the last term of the ones which are divisible by five. Does it make sense? Yeah. It is the last term, but it's not the last term of the things that are divisible by five. Okay, if we go back, we are going to add. Agree? When, we, when we're moving forward, if you, if you notice, we, we are subtracting again. Okay? Yeah, we are going to do the opposite, Manji. Let's let's add. Let's say plus four. What do you get? Yeah, and then plus four again. Yeah. So basically, what you're supposed to do is this: you have minus four, one eight seven. Okay. And then you say plus four. Divisible by five. This one. No. no. Okay. Plus four. Divisible by five. Plus four. Divisible by five. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to write this one as my last term. Then I have minus four. Is what? One? One, seven, five. One, seven, five. So this is my sequence, man. This, this is going to be my sequence. And my sequence now is going to have its own last term. The last term is equaling to minus 
4175. My first term is 5. My difference, let's check the difference. If I say this one, subtract this one, what am I going to get? Minus 10. I allow you. Minus 15. You're going to say you have minus, minus 20. So you have minus 15, minus 5. It says which D is going to be equal to minus 15, minus 5, which is going to give us what? Minus 20. So that's our D. And then we are going to say that Tn is going to be given as A plus N minus 1 multiplied by what? By D. And then what is our first term of the ones which are divisible by 5? It's 5 plus N minus 1 multiplied by minus 20. And then if you continue with this one, it says you're going to have 5. Okay? This one, subtract this one, multiply that one. It says minus 20N plus 20. You know? And then you have minus 20N, which is going to be plus 25. But this is Tn. This is also Tn. Okay. Let's equate them. If we're to equate them, what do we get then? We get minus 4175, which is going to be equal to minus 20N plus 25. Take this one to this other side. It says we have Minus 4175 minus 25, okay? which is going to be minus 20. And this one and this one, it gives you 4,200, okay? minus 4,200, which is going to be minus 20N. Divide by minus 20, divide by minus 20. How many are divisible by 5? Yeah? It's 210. N is going to be equal to 210, what, N? And 10. So there are 210 terms which are divisible by five. But there are not 210 10, 10, 10 terms here. There are 210 terms. There are 210 terms which are divisible by five. Yes. I forgot and where? Where? Yeah. 